Hello everyone and welcome to this week's online prayer. So glad you could join us. It's always a pleasure to be able to go before the Lord with our requests. Those things that are um, on our heart, the things that are uh, pressing situations going on in our lives that we need God to intervene with. And so, uh, what a wonderful opportunity. Thank you for joining with me today. And uh, Psalm 34, 17 says, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all of their troubles. Isn't it wonderful to know that God hears us, but he also delivers us. The things were tr that are troubling us, the things that are uh, concerning us, God hears those concerns, and he delivers us out of all of our troubles. That is so wonderful. Well, we have a praise report today. Doug, who we've been praying for, who went through surgery, well, he is doing so well since his surgery, and he's being able to get back to some of the regular routines of life for himself. And um, I had an opportunity to talk to him a couple of Sundays ago, and yeah, he's just doing great. And praise God for that. We are so thankful for that. Well, we want to start off by praying for the situation with the wildfires of course, we all know what's gone on in the town of uh, Jasper. And uh, so we're just praying that, Father, in the name of Jesus, we are praying for the proper weather conditions, rain, cool temperatures, cool weather, to help combat and even put out that forest fire. And we pray for uh, the people the town of Jasper, people who lost their homes, Father, that you will provide for them, that in such a devastating situation, they will discover and experience your grace and your mercy like never before. And Father, we thank you for uh, your protection over many major structural buildings, very important buildings in that town. And for the ones, the buildings and the homes that have survived, we thank you for that. But Lord, we just pray your protection over our first responders as they are dealing with this, fighting the blaze, continuing to deal with uh, uh, that fire and flare-ups that happen um, with a fire like that. So, Father, we protect, just protect the first responders, we pray, in the name of Jesus. And, Father, we also pray for other areas in Alberta and B.C. and throughout Canada that are dealing with wildfires. Father God, we pray your protection. We pray your provision. We pray, Father God, for these fires to stop, uh, the rain to come where it's needed the cool weather to come where it's needed. And we thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, that you have all of this under control. You are in control. We know you are. And we thank you for that. I want to continue to pray for Inez, who ended up in hospital, praying for strength and clarity of mind, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this wonderful lady and we pray father god you will be with her in the name of jesus for mary who's experiencing some health challenges could possibly require surgery so father we pray and speak healing into her body and comfort to her soul at this time father we're believing for a miracle in her life so that she won't even have to have the surgery that you will touch her physically in the name of of Jesus. And we have some unspoken requests for people who are dealing with some serious health issues. And Father God, you know who they are, and you know what those health issues are as well. And so, Father, thank you that we can bring them to you this day. 
We thank you, Father God, for that you are with Kira. This young girl waiting for a kidney transplant. Um, and uh, so needs her adenoids removed. And we're just praying, Father God, such, that you would give her peace and comfort during this process. It can be a little hard and overwhelming for a young girl. But Lord Jesus, we are thanking you for that, for a healing touch in her body in the name of Jesus. In fact, we pray, Father God, for a healing on her kidney in the name of Jesus. The kidneys would be healthy and whole and complete in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God, for that. And Lord, there's two individuals, one just praying for victory over a spiritual battle that they are going through the other one dealing with sin in their life wanting victory over that and lord you know both cases you know both individuals and thank you father god that you are active in their lives and you will help them overcome in the name of jesus they will be victorious thank you lord for that and we want to thank you father god for florence had her surgery uh, regarding the hole in her retina. And praise God, we got a report from uh, her son that she is doing well. And thank you, Jesus. And for Elaine and Cheryl, both individuals, both ladies dealing with uh, cancer in their life. And um, Father, in the name of Jesus, we speak to that cancer to be gone completely 100%. Father, in Jesus' name, those cancer cells to die and, the, and healing to come in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. And Father, we just want to uh, just continue to remember Joyce Bloom, Father, on the passing of Gunther. Lord, just give her comfort. Give her peace, Father God. And may she be surrounded with family and friends in the name of of Jesus and Julia who is dealing with some health issues but recently she had an MRI and everything came back good on that so praise God for that we thank the Lord for good news when it comes when people are suffering from health issues but thank God the MRI came back good so that is wonderful what we just continue to pray for her and to lift her up. Praying for Jolie, who just needs a real uh, manifestation of the Lord in her life. Her sister's asking for prayer and praying, Father God, that you would use her sister to speak into Jolie's life the things of God, and that she would come to a place where she would surrender her life to Jesus. We continue to lift up Lily before you dealing with this Batten disease, going bi-weekly for enzyme infusions. It's a difficult thing for a three-year-old. But Father, you're in control. And we pray for Lily. We're believing for a healing in her life. We thank you that you are with the family. In the name of Jesus, give them comfort, give them strength as they press on and press through this situation. Continuing to pray for Margaret for continued strength in her body, physical touch, Father, as she recovers from that virus that she suffered with. Praying for Barb with her case of macular degeneration, Father, in the name of Jesus, we are believing for a complete restoration of her eyesight. We're believing for a miracle. We thank you for it, and we will rejoice with her when it happens. Continue to pray for Ruth every day, Father, that you would strengthen her, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Just bless her, Father God. Help her to just continue to walk forward, walk in faith and victory in the name of Jesus. And continuing to pray for Phil as he deals with the, this, the lasting effects of shingles. He's doing so much better, but... It's not 100% yet, but we're believing it will be soon in the name of Jesus. 
We thank you, Father God, that you are with Jan. You're helping her to get good sleep and energy level, oxygen levels, everything good in the name of Jesus. Praying for Glenn as he deals with MS, for healing in his body, we pray in Jesus' name. And Father, we pray for Harold and Janet. They want to sell their house. They have a, another house they're looking at buying that's a little bit easier and um, uh, for them. And Father, we just pray that their, their house they're living in now would sell quickly. And Father God, I know that that can happen. And so we just pray for a quick turnover in the name of Jesus. Continuing to lift up families who have members struggling with addictions of different types, whatever they may be. Father, you are the deliverer. You are the one that can set them free in Jesus' name, and we are believing for that. And so now we want to take a few moments just to lift up some ministries that we as a church here at Heritage Valley Pentecostal Assembly support. And Father, we just we thank you for these wonderful ministries from Pastor Bob Gall and his uh, community chaplaincy with him and his wife Karen. Thank you for the wonderful work they do. Um, continuing to give them the strength they need to serve you here and abroad. And Pastor Debbie and her team down at Father's House healing and ministering to the to the homeless, to those that society says are no good, but you love them and you have a great team in place to be your hand extended, to show your love to these people. And we thank you for that. For Rachel and her ministry in Africa, we thank you, Laura, for what she's doing. It's, in, it's an incredible ministry to women, a much needed ministry in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for 3L Ministries and the opportunity that I have with the team we have in place to go into uh, Chartwell Seniors Home. And we just, I just bless you for that, Father. I thank you for it. I just rejoice over the fact that that is such a needed ministry and we have the opportunity to go in there uh, weekly with the Bible study, and then with Sunday services a couple of times a month. Thank you for the team that's in place. Thank you for that ministry and for, Lo and for Love Edmonton Chapel, a great ministry with great things happening there. We pray, Father God, for your continued provision for that unique ministry. Thank you for Heimdall Community Church, Lord. Bless them, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for that wonderful church and their faithful service over to you over the years. For Matthew Pipke Ministries, uh, his involvement at Love Edmonton Chapel as well, and just, Lord, you continue to use him, uh, both here and abroad, in Jesus' name, sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Nepal Children's Foundation, Sleep in Heavenly Place, Father, two wonderful ministries that you provide for, you look after, you take care of. Thank you, Lord. For Shiloh Youth Branch, continue to pray for them this summer as they are actively running camps for, uh, for teenagers, Father, and many of them coming from broken homes. They do not necessarily know you as Savior, but Father God, this is an opportunity for them to come to you in the name of Jesus and to turn their lives over to you. We thank you for that wonderful ministry. Pray for Young Life as a ministry that goes into the schools. And Father God, there, it, it's, there's a time off for them right now and a time for them to just recuperate and to re-energize and get ready for the next school year coming up in a couple of months. And Father, the same thing with Vanguard College, Lord, as it's summer break for them. But Lord, we pray that you would help them and guide them and direct them as they go into uh, a new school year in September. And we thank you, Father God, for our global workers as well that we support. 
We pray for Jeffrey and Akiko in Japan, Jeremy and Teresa in Ethiopia, for Stefan and Barb with their ministry, and for Jaron and Cindy in Thailand. Father, we are so grateful as a church for an opportunity to just support and work alongside these wonderful ministries. We pray your blessing upon them. We pray for their provision for everything they have need of, for strength on a day-to-day -day basis to continue to do the work you've called them to. Well, folks, as we close, Romans eleven thirty six says, For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. Well, bless you folks. Thank you for joining me this week. And uh, look forward to having you uh, back with us uh, next uh, Wednesday. And looking forward to just a great week in Jesus. So be blessed. Rejoice. Walk in faith and victory. And we will see you next Wednesday. And in the meantime, if you have a need, please reach out to the church. Contact us. We will do our best to pray for you and your needs. In Jesus' name, amen.